Step out of the vehicle with your hands in the air. Driver. Driver. Step out of the vehicle. Give me a 40 over there with him. You got lethal? I got lethal. Keep your hands up. Walk towards me. Okay. Now, uh, Jay, go ahead on over here. Yeah. Turn around, turn around. Gun! Gun! Drop down to the ground now! Drop down! down. down. The fatal Bay Area police shooting of 19-year-old Elmer Lopez Castaneda in Newark on April 13 is among the latest in the state being investigated by California's Department of Justice under a post-George Floyd reform law known as AB 1506. I've heard firsthand the hurt and the pain that so many families and communities feel in the moments after these incidents. These critical incidents are never easy but the tools and procedures we brought about through AB 1506 are a chance to insert more transparency and accountability into these investigations. Officers opened fire on Lopez Castaneda following a February 14th knife point carjacking, which police allege the teenager committed in this surveillance video released in May. Yeah, hi. I just had a, a car uh, stolen from us. Did you see this happen? No, he just took off. My he he threatened my my son with a knife, and he took off at the car. Lopez Castaneda died after one Newark detective and three Fremont officers fired their weapons at the teenager and shouted commands as he allegedly reached to withdraw a replica airsoft pistol from his waistband. Attorney General Rob Bonta's office would not comment on its ongoing investigation of the fatal shooting, which is one of at least 40 other police killings it is currently investigating statewide. Since AB 1506 went into effect in 2021, the California Department of Justice has completed reviews for criminal liability and issued reports in three cases involving police killing unarmed civilians. In all three cases, the state's top law enforcement officer has declined to pursue charges against police, citing insufficient evidence. Experienced civil rights attorneys who represent families of victims in similar police killings say Lopez Castaneda's case raises questions about the officer's use of de-escalation techniques and whether Lopez Castaneda posed an immediate threat before he was gunned down. Hey, passenger, get the driver, get out. The driver out first. Oh, that's good. Hey, He's putting somebody right here. I got you. I got, hey, I got commands. Driver, driver. Hold on, hold on. Hey, everybody hold, everybody hold. Take control of the driver here. We're just going to hold. Oh, no, Nobody yeah. else talk. Copy. Driver, step out of the vehicle with your hands in the air. Driver. Driver. Step out of the vehicle. Give me a 40 over there with him. You got lethal? I got lethal. Keep your hands up. Walk towards me. Okay. Now, uh, Jay, go ahead on over here. Turn around. Turn around. Gun! Gun! Drop down to the ground now! James Cook, a lawyer with the high-profile John Burris law firm, says he's worked multiple cases like Lopez Castaneda's and highlighted the way multiple officers shout commands at the same time in the moments preceding lethal uses of force. Turn around. Gun! Gun! Drop down to the ground now! Drop down! down. down. And Mark Marin, an attorney based in Sacramento, called the shooting indefensible because Lopez Castaneda did not point a weapon toward officers or anyone else. Newark PD Chief Gina Anderson in an emailed statement told this news organization that all Newark officers undergo extensive de-escalation training and that she was confident the DOJ would conduct a fair and impartial investigation. Fremont police declined interview requests, referring questions to the AG's office. Dylan Bauscher, Bay Area News Group.